It was an emotional reunion for the Ezra family as they greeted 28 relatives who they hadn't seen in almost 20 years. Five brothers who had remained behind in Ethiopia arrived in Israel with their families on a special flight organized by the quasi-governmental Jewish agency. I want to thank everyone who helped make this dream come true and gave us hope. They were welcomed by Israeli Minister of Absorption Penina Tamano Shata, herself an Ethiopian immigrant who came to Israel as a child. It is the time that the sky is open and that this pain that I see every day, mothers and fathers that cry here in Israel and children that cry there in Ethiopia will be stopped. That mission is to bring the last 3,000 Ethiopians with family ties to Israel, many of whom have been waiting decades to join their relatives. This latest airlift is being funded by both the Israeli government and American Jewish organizations. Last year, the Israeli government promised to reunite families and rescue Ethiopian Jews from Ethiopia's war. But the escalating war is just one reason for this mission, according to some Israeli analysts. I think it has to do, as so many things do, with internal Israeli politics and um, those in the coming election. I think that's much more relevant than anything that's happened in Ethiopia recently. Ethiopia's war is centered in the northern Tigray region. Most of the Ethiopian Jews are from Gondar in the nearby region of Amhara. Officials say they are not directly threatened by the war, but it does have an indirect effect. We see the cost of living increasing because of the war and the financial problem that Dorim are facing in Gondar and in Ethiopia, and we are more and more challenged with that cases. But some Ethiopian Israeli activists say that Israel has an obligation to rescue thousands of Jews remaining in the Tigray war zone, even if they are not on the list of those recognized for family reunification. Look at Ukraine. The state of Israel has rescued not only Jews from the war there, but refugees too. I support that as a moral person. But why aren't they bringing the Jews from Tigray to Israel? Israeli officials say they see their mission as helping any Jew in distress, and they will continue these flights from Ethiopia for the next few months. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Tel Aviv.